Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss how to ace your medical school interview and it's one of the most significant and crucial parts of your medical school application. All right, so being sociable and likable is good, but it does not necessarily equate to a positive interview experience all the times. And interviews may be a stressful experience. There's no doubt about it. And to be honest, most of us, including myself, feel the same way about interviews. And at least at first, when you haven't had much experience with them, I know I was extremely stressed. My heart was racing when I had my interview. So perhaps you've been browsing the internet, or maybe you've asked all your pre med classmates about their virtual interview experiences to see how it went right but finding useful information isn't always easy but that's exactly why i created this video i'm here to assist you with your preparation for your medical school interview so what i've done is i gone ahead and compiled a thorough list of a top seven interview tip so tip number seven we're gonna start from the bottom go up is first impressions matter all right so the tone of your interview is usually established in the initial few seconds so keep in mind that you're there because you're being considered for a position and although it may seem obvious how to present yourself how particularly your body language are you slouching are you sitting up right your body language has an impact on how the interviewer perceives you this is important right so it might help you express your self-assurance your self-esteem your confidence so for an in-person interview if you have those nowadays when making an introduction you're gonna want to stand up straight you're gonna give a firm handshake you're gonna make eye contact with each person in the room and what you wear may appear to be like a minor component of, a, of the process what you really want to do is focus on it because it leaves a lasting bad impression if done incorrectly so even if you're interviewing remotely uh, the first impressions also matter so the finest piece of advice that I can give you on, on this subject is to dress how you would like to see your doctor dressed okay so you don't have to be boring but you also shouldn't go overboard don't go wearing the rainbow don't go with super bright colors just be be normal be formal so for an online interview as well because those are more popular make sure to have a clean background a well-lit room turn off your notifications on your phone tell your family that you're gonna be busy put the dog away put the cat in the cage you don't want anybody um, bothering you okay all right, tip number six, read the GMC's ethical guidance. So I actually didn't do this uh, my time. I didn't know about it, but you only have up to three interviews here in Ottawa, at least to prove that you're eligible to become a doctor to get into the school. So I strongly advise that everybody that's trying to get in, read the book Doing Right or study the ethical guidance for doctors, which is a paper published in the General Medical Council, which I think is a UK thing. I'm going to leave a link in the description or you can search it up. You'll have clear knowledge of the function of a doctor by the end of it and you'll be able to start speaking like one in your medical interview and don't forget to recognize like bring this up the fact that doctors are actually teachers like that's a root word if you look into the greek it means teacher so kind of learn about those things and use that to your advantage all right moving on point number five is prepare it's critical to approach the interview process as you would with any other aspect of your application. I know you're tired, but you got to push through. Keep pushing, right? So just as you would work hard to obtain a strong or high GPA, we're studying for the MCAT. You've worked really hard for years to position yourself right now. And now you're just like on the verge of getting to medical school. So now is not the time to ease up. Read all you can on the school's website. Become familiar with the curriculum, particularly what makes it special, why you want to apply, what stands out, right? Learn about any big changes coming to the campus and investigate student clubs, research and volunteer activities, watch students' vlogs about their experiences. And this will demonstrate to the interviewer that you are enthusiastic about the program and also prepare a few life instances, some stories of life events that you've had that can be applicable to a variety of situations because they might ask you to bring those up. So if you've had a few important experiences that have marked you, such as adversity or obstacles in school or at work or personal growth, or just occasions where you were pressed to make a tough decision, you may apply them to a variety of topics, right? So interviewers are seeking specific examples and life experiences from 
you. So instead of delivering imprecise or abstract replies, you can respond to a question with your personal narrative and that's the best thing to do. Okay, so you can make it simpler to answer unexpected questions if you have a collection of meaningful experiences to draw from. All right, so moving on to point number four, it's familiarize yourself with medical ethics. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper here and I've talked about this in previous videos and I'll link some resources. but. You'll be asked a lot of questions that will put your comprehension of ethical notions and principles to the test, trust me, which should have evolved, right? Your, your understanding should have evolved organically over time. You should prepare for these sorts of questions by being more aware of professional and medical ethics and understanding how to apply them in a variety of real life circumstances. So reading a few books on the subject is gonna help you comprehend these topics better. So the ethical dilemmas you'll confront will almost certainly be like this, for example, non-maleficence. So there's also some of those CanMed roles that you would want to learn about. Just Google that, you find out what it is. So make sure you're familiar with these ethical ideas and how to apply them in real life circumstances, right? So the best approach to achieve this is to create an ethical mentality over time by assessing the moral implications and ethical outcomes of each circumstance you encounter in your everyday life. So test your ethical understanding by practicing your answers to these ethical questions from prior years interviews. You can find questions on Reddit, you can find questions on YouTube, just practice, practice, practice. So I'm going to link some resources with practice ethical questions in the description. Make sure to try those out. The more, the better. All right, moving on to point number three is refine your communication style. So it's critical to be conscious of how you talk when practicing and to concentrate on increasing your general eloquence and coherence when you pronounce words, when you put a story together and not be stumbling. As previously said, the ideal method to achieve this is to practice with sample questions and do mock interviews with tailored feedback from others, family, friends, doctors, med students, right? You may also keep track of your progress as you practice to identify areas to so write those down, track them to see how you're improving and then work on them over and over. So this kind of self-improvement doesn't happen quickly. Honestly, it, it takes a little bit, a lot of practice and it may take a few weeks. It may, um, if you have that kind of time to bring your communication skills to where they need to be. So, but don't, don't stress too much about it. One of the reasons I advocate for starting your interview prep early is because of this for sure. So get on it ASAP. Point Number two, you are being observed at all times. This is more um, for in-person interviews, but when it comes to interviews, this is something that many individuals overlook. So all of your contacts with support personnel, administration, medical students, and others might be utilized to evaluate you. Virtually, I don't know how that works, probably not. But on interview day, if you're going in person, remember to be polite, to be cheerful with everyone that you encounter, because that can only only help you, right? Having bad behavior can be pretty harmful. I trust that you're not that kind of person if you're getting interviewed to medical school. So don't be arrogant, don't be prideful, right? So everyone you encounter should be treated with respect and kindness and consider the entire day to be an interview until, until you leave that building, right? So present yourself in the best light possible at all times. Moving on to the last tip. Tip number one is mock interview. So a practice run is the greatest way to feel prepared in an interview. So mock interviews, if put on by university's career center, you should take advantage of it. You Ottawa does that. It's an extremely valuable resource and having a buddy conduct an interview with you might also be a good approach to gather feedback on topics like your body language, how you pronounce words, etc. Right. So mock interviews are the closest thing that you can get to the real thing. Thus, they're the greatest at eliciting the true feelings you're going to have throughout the interview to elicit the points in which you're going to stumble, right? It's going to elicit tension, worry, fear, and uncertainty. And the objective is to get control of these emotions and be prepared for when you are doing the interview. You're, you're familiarized with the format, with the feelings, the emotions, and you can receive feedback from your friend or whoever's doing the interview with you, right? So keep terms such as like or um out of your vocabulary and remember that it's fine to pause.
take a break, breathe, consider before responding and avoid using phrases like to be honest or honestly, as they might indicate that anything else you say isn't really genuine. And it, while it's critical to get all of the information you need across, you should always aim to answer questions clearly and simply before moving on to the next issue. So make sure you address every single point. All right, so because the number seven is said to be a fortunate number, the perfect number, I believe these seven suggestions, these seven tips will bring you luck in your medical school, in-person or virtual interviews. So when it comes down to it, no two interviewers are the same and there's no such thing as an ideal interview method or recipe. You're always going to feel uncomfortable. You're not going to feel prepared, but all you can do is prepare, smile, and show the interviewer who you are. Your aim is to persuade, to sell them, to sell the interviewer why you want to be there, how you prepare to be there, and that you have the necessary balance in your life to complete medical school and residency. Okay. So in the end, it's going to be the interviewer who will make your case to the admissions committee. So make sure that you give them all they need. Do your best, pour your heart out. And if you follow these seven steps, you'll be well on your way to a successful interview. Best of luck. If you need me, DM me on Instagram. Links to resources are down below. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more useful videos like this. And let me know if these seven tips were helpful or not in the comments. And if you got an interview this time around, put them in the comments so we can celebrate. Send me a DM. I always reply and I give you more tips there. All right. Peace. God bless. Take care.